Neighborhood Community Shout Outs! Yay! 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 So, as some of you might have figured out, we have a troll. Uh, it's probably just one guy with multiple channels. And every time we delete them, he pops up with another one. So, we're uh, if you see something nasty coming out uh, of our blog, you just realize it's some troll. And uh, ignore it and report it. And uh, we'll delete them as quickly as, uh, as we see them. Yeah. They only try and rally you up. We're not going to let them do that to us, so. Meh. Okay. A first shirt out goes to someone who followed me on Periscope the other day. Um, Emma, Emmy Lou Who, I believe, was her name on Periscope. And her name on YouTube is Emma Witten. Welcome to the neighborhood. Hope you're watching. Okay, thoughts and prayers, guys. Tanya Longley just found out that her aunt is in the hospital and they aren't expecting her to make it. And um, it's a very tough situation and they're all having a hard time with it. So if you could keep Tanya and her father, which is uh, this is her father's sister and her entire family and her aunt in your thoughts and prayers we would greatly appreciate that we love you Tanya and you're in our thoughts and prayers as well okay my question yesterday was have you ever played a practical can you get me my book ever played a practical joke on someone or have you ever had a practical joke played on you? Okay. Okay. <coughs> Angie Lupus Life. When I was a kid, I told my mom that my brother got hit by a car and was lying in the street bleeding. That was nice. <laughs> I got in really big trouble. I can imagine. Yeah, for that. And haven't played a prank on anyone since. Yeah. That wasn't a nice prank, Angie. <laughs> Where's your brother? <laughs> Bella Luna. I My son played a prank on my niece when she was about two or three years old. She had a doll. She loved to diaper. So her son stuck two tiny Tootsie Rolls down the back of the diaper of the doll's, di of the doll's diaper. When she was changing it, she freaked out, and then she really freaked out when he ate the Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> That's funny, but probably traumatized yeah, well, okay. <laughs> your niece. Uh, Crimson Fairy just recently played a joke on a fellow teacher, um, completely decorated their truck for Easter, with bunny tails and balloons, filled his cab. This was last year. Two dozen pink donuts were delivered to his room throughout the day by students and different teachers. The truck had eyelashes and a mustache, pink streamers, and a big white, and it was a big white truck. Yeah. Pretty funny. Bambi S. I kid kidnapped my nephew's Toy Story Toy Woody doll when he was eight and sent him a ransom note using letters out of a magazine. I, I'm telling you, some of these, these pranks are probably traumatizing. <laughs> oh, he's probably in on that one. So, those are the ones that, that I, I have here. Have you ever played a practical joke on someone or have you had one played on you? Um, well, we, we played a, a practical joke on Nikki and John, mm -hmm. and we're not really pranksters, but we did it because of who they were. So, and you can see that on Nikki and John's vlogs if you want to. It's called The Neighbors Pranked Us. Uh, but I think the only thing that was done on me uh, uh, was um, I went whale watching one day. And the boat that we are on had uh, a bathroom. They were, they were both on the deck. There was a male and a female bathroom. But the, uh, the tag that said male, female was those that slide out, like uh, office 
And when I went in, somebody switched them. So when I came out, everybody was in on it, and they're all saying, what are you doing in the woman's bathroom? <laughs> so it was embarrassing because I thought I actually went into the women's bathroom. It's funny. I actually played a practical joke on my mother. This was before I met Kevin. And on my father. Two different jokes. One, um, I was living in San Diego at the time, and I was just getting divorced from Megan's dad. And I was going to be flying to New York, and the radio station was having make your mother curse in so many minutes or less on the phone. So I'm like, okay, I, I could do this. My mother's from New York. New Yorkers curse, okay? So I call up my mom, and best story I can come up with is Bob's not going to let me come bring Megan to New York with me. So I tell my mother this, and I'm thinking she's going to get mad. She's trying to stay calm to get me to stay calm. At the time, I needed a car. The prize was tickets to a comedy concert, but I told the radio show announcer that I needed a car. So during the time I'm trying to get my mother to cuss, he says something, and my mother kind of heard him a little bit, and she says, who's that? I said, oh, I'm at work. It was one of the guys from work. So when the time was up, the guy comes on the radio station and, you know, we tell my mom that she lost and so, uh, I lost. And my mom's like, well, what, you know, we told her what we were trying to do and make her curse. And she says, well, what was the prize? And the guy says she would have won a brand new car. My mother started cursing up a storm at that point <laughs> on the radio. Bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> but it was funny. Then on my dad, I was living in New York, and I called into the radio station, and my dad always fills out those little things in the mall and drops his name into the slots to win things. And he always likes to go to the casinos and stuff. So the radio station calls up my dad. I'm on the other line. And they say, Fred Stalter, you are entered this contest, da 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 and you are our second prize winner. And he's like, oh, my God. The guy says, you won a lifetime supply of toilet paper. All right. And my dad's like, okay, what am I supposed to... And it has to all be delivered at one time. So there's an 18-wheeler on their way to your house right now to deliver a full load of toilet paper. My dad's like, I don't want all that. Where am I going to do with it? Give it to your family and friends, sir. I'm sorry. You want it. we got to give it. we got to deliver it. So for the longest... For about... A good three minutes or so, the guy had my father on the phone, and my father's like, I don't want it. I'm not going to take it, you know? And then my father's like, Valerie. Yeah. <laughs> so, because I do stuff like that, you know. Oh, well. And then I pranked you with Annabelle. And I tried to prank you with Daryl Dixon. Yeah. <laughs> is, what was the scariest moment of your life so far? Getting married. Just kidding. <laughs> You're gonna don't, don't you touch me. You're gonna don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Touch me. Hit him. <laughs> I really got you last time. So my question was, there was an actor who, is, um, who appeared in movies with all three, Mike Myers, Freddy Krueger, and Jason Voorhees. Who was that actor? And that was kind of a trick question, unfortunately. Everybody was looking for um, three separate movies, but there's actually only two movies because uh, he appeared in Freddy vs. Jason, or Jason versus Freddy, I don't remember what it was called. So that was two franchises that got together to do a movie, which was unusual. But he was in that, and he was in um, uh, Halloween Resurrection. But, um, Cold Today just, just threw the name right out there. She knew it. Woohoo! Uh, the, the actor's name was Kyle Levine, and he was in uh, both of those movies. Okay. 
So uh, Cole today got it, and Terry Johnson got it eventually. Uh, Bambi S gave it a try, but um, was looking in all the wrong places. Tonight's question has to do with a really bad movie called Nothing But Trouble. Okay, Kevin. And um, it was the movie was Nothing But Trouble for everybody involved, apparently, because it was written and directed. Uh, and, uh, and, and starring Dan Aykroyd, it was done in 1991. It had everybody in it. Chevy Chase was in it. Demi Moore was in it. And it was it was terrible. And I don't think it ever even made its money back. So the question I have is, um, what is it based on? He actually, it's actually based on something. Uh, so it's actually based on kind of like two things. trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very much. <laughs> Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all of our other stuff. Where's your thing? It's on the couch. Why is it on your arm? Because I forgot to put it on <laughs> Make sure to go by and check out all our other stuff and we will see you all tomorrow.